um, I don't know if the Muslim world is reacting to this a lot, but you know what's happening in Afghanistan? Like, I feel like everyone's very silent about how Islam is being implemented there and how women aren't allowed to go to school and, like, I don't really hear much about anyone reacting to it at all. Like, and they're, but people there are like representing Islam in that way. I know they're not the true representation of Islam. Like they've gone on a very extreme. Look, sister, I don't agree with Taliban. Yes, I don't agree with Taliban. I believe they, the aqidah, the aqidah, their belief system. The Muslims, I believe, system is corrupted. Yeah. However, many things be said about them. I have to verify because if with the non-Muslims, I have to be just, and I should not just listen to the media. What about our Muslim brothers? Because they are still my Muslim brothers. Yeah. But I don't agree with the stuff they do, okay? So how about them preventing women coming to the schools, Islamically, a, a, a woman allowed to seek knowledge. Prophet Muhammad told us, seeking knowledge is compulsory, obligatory, upon every Muslim, male and female, okay? okay? Mm -hmm. However, I don't know what is the situation exactly. I cannot just take it from the Western media. The Western media are the same media who told us and Saddam had a nuclear weapon and destroyed Iraq and Afghanistan. Mm -hmm. So I don't believe everything they say. But uh, people are speaking about it on media. However, sister, why no one is speaking about our Muslim sisters in France not allowed to study in schools and colleges and universities because they cover themselves? Why are no one speaking about it? Well, you mean why are Muslims not speaking about it? No, I'm Muslim too, and non-Muslims, but no one, no one. And even the Muslims are not speaking about it the way they should be speaking, including myself. I'm falling into shortcomings. May Allah forgive me. But non-Muslims, France is our next door neighbor. Afghanistan is far away from us. If you have a food and you want to give it, who is the one who deserves it? Your next door neighbor first. Don't go to, you're from Bush, you go to Brixton. Yeah. Or you're from London, you go to, to Scotland. Do you understand? So now if we have a problem with preventing women from seeking knowledge, why the British government and American government and European government are not speaking against the French government for not allowing a woman to go to, what is the problem with covering yourself? I don't understand. Yeah. I don't understand. As once I was on a train, you know, I was coming from the gym and uh, there was a Muslim sister and this guy is having a problem with her. He didn't know I was a Muslim. I said, I, I said to him, let, let me ask you a question. Yeah. Just let me just break it down for you to show you what you're doing, just foolishness. What is your problem? She's just covering herself. Why are you angry? Yeah. Well, like, when I said that to him, yeah, he said, he, you know, it was hard for to register, yeah? I said, let me repeat it. You sitting there, She's sitting over here, she's covered up. You, why are you angry? I think everybody likes the, the choice of free will for women and to let them themselves. She is free will uh, covering. Yeah. You understand? No, he's angry because he cannot see her body. Yeah. He wants to see her body, he wants to see what is in there. He's getting irritated, that's the reality. I think you understand? It's like intimidation as well. People are intimidated by people of religion because it's like they have more power. Brother, like, the guy, have more uh, uh, I mean, you can make excuses, yeah? But the guy was a big guy, man. How good, and the sister is some little sister Muskina no, with the hijab. She's not even like, covered up. Not like he's gonna beat her. Up, no. He's scared of her, like uh, her brain, what she believes in. Like, like psychologically. Yeah. Because we only uh, have the yeah. certainty that they walk around life with, you know, knowing in what direction they want to go. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, uh, it's again. They could be um, intimidated by the certainty that a religious person, like uh, that female, uh, like, yeah. you know, yeah. some people are a bit more lost in terms of when you see someone that's very thorough, following their religion in a very, okay, to be honest, a very coherent way, it is something that can irritate some So, so yeah. if she was a Muslim and, and covered up, you have no problem. Yeah? If she was a Muslim, oh, no, no, I'm not no, 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 I'm just saying, if, if she was a Muslim and she didn't cover herself, she would have no problem, I'm telling you. Yeah. The problem is, is being brainwashed by the media or that's how I can take a break. Either been brainwashed by the media, or he thinks she's gonna do something, okay? Because the media tells him, or oh, he's just angry. I mean, like I was surprised. I mean, as look, when I see a Jewish woman on the train, you know, I never think, hang on, this is a Jewish person. They're killing Palestinian Muslims in, in Palestine. She's gonna kill me. Yeah. Oh no, I don't, she's a woman. She following her religion. She's respectful. If someone's gonna harm, I'm gonna defend her, even if it's a Jewish man. I'm gonna do that. That's what Islam teach me. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. Too many microphones, man. Like an operation, man. <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna. The problem is they've been brainwashed, you know. And I, 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 you know, after he clocked on, you know, he said, "Yeah, it's true." He said, "I don't understand." I said, "Just sitting down. You, what are you having problem with?" So, so sister, you know, just tell you something to conclude with that. The problem is that people claiming that they don't have free will. In France, the women that wear hijab or no hijab, niqab, you know, burqa, 
women that cover themselves, even their face, you know are they? Majority of them are reverts. They have no Muslim family. Well, I feel like it, what, what I've seen in the UK is for Christians, I feel like there's not really many real Christians anymore. Like, yeah. there's people that say they're Christian. And for Islam, there is... I've met a few Muslims that I think are true Muslims, but still, I think there is, like... Like, even I go to uni at Queen Mary, and they... Like, there's a lot of Muslims there that they, they call themselves Muslims, but then I don't see the true Islam in it, which is, yeah. puts me off as well, because I'm like, are people are... are following the religion but the way they want it to be. But yeah, that's, that's, that's the point, sister. What I was going to say to you, Islam teach us we should not connect or blind follow anyone. We only take our role model as, as we take our role model or we follow Prophet Muhammad and his companions. As for other Muslims, at the end of the day, they are human beings. Okay? Like, you know, like Christians, you know? So, uh, they're, they're, they're still Muslim, okay? But it doesn't mean they have to be perfect, yeah. you know? But no doubt, what you're saying, the Muslim out there should take advice and try to implement Islam the way that Islam was implemented. When Islam was implemented correctly, nations, countries became Muslim just by because of the people's behavior. You understand? Like, uh, uh, I mentioned this story many times. My, my, when my wife became a Muslim, I mean, I met her way after when I got married to her. Her mother was not happy with me. She didn't like me. She was very angry with me, you know? So I once I said to my wife, let us go visit your mom. We went to visit her mom. You know, she's an atheist. I mean, she's confused. One day Christian, one day atheist. I don't know where she is. <laughs> no, not like guy there anyway. So we went to see her. You know, the first, that was the first time I went to see her. When she saw me, how I treated my wife and how I treated her by buying her gift, now she likes me, man. She drives me crazy. She called me my son, my son. She always wants to come. You see, so she, uh, they say actions louder than? Actions speak louder than words. Speak louder than words, yeah. So, you know, but at the end of the day, when you look, even me, I'm not perfect. I'm not that's why, sorry, that's why, sister, when we uh, uh, look at someone, we will say, you know, I'm not going to expect this person to be perfect. But if you expect me to be perfect, then I'm going to let you down. Yeah. And anyone else. You know, even you, sister, when you're going to become Muslim, inshallah, start practicing, you're not perfect. You know, no one is perfect. All of us, we have our own struggles, our own mistakes. But Islam teach us that be honest. If you make mistakes, I make mistakes. May Allah forgive me. You understand? But no doubt that should encourage us to do more good deeds and, and we should uh, behave correctly, especially as a Muslim, you know, we have to. Islam pay attention to good manners. But there's one thing, good manners, there's two types of good manners. Let me ask the Muslims, there's two types of good manners. We finish, oh, three. Why are they? Why is the first one? First type. Many people focus on people. As long as you be good to your people, to the people, no, no. The first to show our good manners with our Creator. Creator has given you everything, and you're not doing nothing for Him. Who is our good manners? Second one to the people. You understand? But many people miss the first one and focus on being good to the people. Yes, be good to the be good to the people. Salve good truth, recommended Islam, highly recommended. You know. So, yeah, Alhamdulillah, like, you know. Uh, Afghanistan, Afghanistan, what they're doing, we have, have to. to go, yeah. with okay. The key for the house. <laughs> no problem, no problem. I'll let you go. Shall I, this is our chat. Look, do you have Instagram? Mm -hmm. I'll show you our Instagram page. You can contact me. Oh, not me because I don't my channel. I don't have a personal uh, Instagram. This is our one. Uh, okay. Yeah, you can take a picture if you want to not forget. And you can see our channel there. Mm -hmm. All right, take care of yourself. Have a nice evening. All right, take care. Bye bye. Thanks, you're welcome.